Hi everyone, Jay's Manson here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, so I got such a great response from my last LaDonna video that I decided I'm gonna bring you the sequel. That's right, we are remaking of LaDonna doll in the image of my doll Misty's rival, Ursula Van Ross. And you may be asking, what is a LaDonna doll? Well, in case you aren't to know, guys, remember when I did this? Blah, 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 I'm unboxing a LaDonna doll. Blah, blah, squeak. Oh my goodness, you guys liked it so much, I decided we're gonna do it again. Stay tuned while I transform Pearl's LaDonna doll by Kid Robot. Hey everyone, let's get started and start sketching out our concept. Now my concept for today is I want to do Ursula Van Ross on this extra Vladonna doll that I ordered. So I'm gonna sketch her out and I'm doing sort of like a Joan Collins and Dynasty kind of hairstyle meshed with like the bubble cut Barbie from the 1950s. Oh my God, I love that with the big old like boxy like bubble cut she used to have, the big black one. Oh, love it so much. And let me just tell you right now, I do not stick to this concept at all when it comes to the final doll. She looks completely different. Like the outfit looks nothing like this, but oh well. All right, let's get started and take our paint. I am using Folk Art Acrylic Paint in the color Skin Tone. It's a color peach, honestly. And I'm gonna mix that in with a little bit of Mod Podge. Now this is the mattifying Mod Podge, not the shimmer. Someone in my comment section mentioned I should use this, so I decided to give it a go. So we're mixing it together and we're gonna see how it turns out. And I did this about two more times afterward. And I'll cut back to you when we start doing the face. Now I could not bring myself to cut off all our hair, so I tied it up in a high bun like this. And I'm actually gonna build a wig for her today. But first things first, we gotta get her face painted. I'm gonna start with the white of her eyes. And using some red acrylic paint, I have to give her some lips. She needs lips. It just freaks me out when the dolls don't have lips. And like any great diva, we have to start doing her eyeliner. And it looks a little thin now, but it's going to get much, much thicker as I progress with the doll. Because like any great diva, she needs to have some nice, dense eyeliner. And this doll is going to be Misty's rival, Ursula Van Ross. And Ursula has purple eyes, so we're going to create purple irises with some acrylic paint. And then I use some watercolor pencils to sketch out her eyebrows and try and get them as symmetrical as possible and then fill them in with acrylic paint later. And then I'm gonna do two black circles in her eyes to give it more of a three-dimensional realistic approach to it. I'm doing more 2D, but also just like a living cartoon is what I wanted it to look like. And then honestly, at this point, it's just finishing touches. I take some black paint and do two black dots for her nostrils. And then taking some of the skin tone color, I'm gonna clean up her eyebrows to make them nice and sharp. Then I add two tiny crystals in her eyes to give it more sparkle, and then we're done with the face. And once she was dry, I did spray her with two to three layers of Mr. Super Clear, and it made such a huge difference in the doll's appearance. Now, I made a wig for this doll. I'm so happy with the result of this. I took some small elastic, and I measured around the doll's head from the back of her head, like where her hair ends, to the very, very tip of where her hair begins, because I don't want to cut the hair off. I just want to make a wig. And I let it cover the ears, because the hair is going to cover the ears anyway. And that's also gonna help the grip keep it on the head because dolls' heads are very slippery. So after I've done that, I do a black cap, which is black stretchy material since the hair's gonna be black, and make sure it just measures out the same length as the elastic. And then create a circle and make sure there's enough space that the hair can fit under it so it's not like bunching up and it's gonna pop off. And also a fun tidbit, the bigger the cap is, the bigger the hair is going to be because the hair bunched underneath it is gonna cause it to like rise up. So any tracks you put on this, it's gonna make her look like she has huge like drag queen hair, which I'm not mad at because I'm making some fierce diva dolls. For the hair I'm using yarn and what I did is I took one long strip of yarn and then I tie off little fringes of yarn hanging off of the center of it. And then the ones that are hanging off as fringe, I take with a dog brush. Sorry, you guys, I used my dog's brush for this, but I cleaned it before I did it. And I just comb through the hair until it gets the texture of like hair. Bear in mind, you're gonna lose a lot of hair with this. So the longer the wefts are, the longer the hair is gonna be. And the shorter they are, the shorter is it gonna be because it pulls out all the hair from the yarn. Once the wefts are made, I put the wig cap on the doll's head and I start gluing down the wefts. I did about eight wefts and I will show you what I did to make a wig. Now I had a whole plan of what I wanted to do here. I wanted to do like a turban look. So I took the longest weft and I glued that down to the head and then folded the hair back and under to the back of the head and the cap to make sure it disguised all of the cap and looked like it was just, you know, a styled beehive in the back of her head. And with the other wefts, I glued those to the top of the head facing upward because I'm actually gonna barrel curl this hair down. So I want more height. I don't want it to go like lay flat. Then with my final weft, I parted it three ways with hair facing upward towards the top of the head and then hair facing towards the sides 
so that it can be divided and create sort of the sideburns to disguise the edges of the wig. And then I took a very, very tiny whip, which was just a piece of yarn with a knot tied in the center, and I brushed out the ends so I could create a bang piece for this wig. Then I folded a tiny piece of yarn underneath itself so that the knot sat at the bottom and was covered by the hair and then folded it under to create like a Betty Page bang. And then with the entrails, I strategically glued it so that they'll stick upwards and just, you know, combine with the rest of the hair and disguise it. And with a small scrap of fabric that matches the dress I'm making, I tied that around the head with the knot at the very top where the little bang piece is to help hold it all flat. And I'm gonna glue that down to make sure it stays there because it's gonna hold the wig together. Otherwise, when you take it off, it's gonna come off everywhere. And you don't wanna have to fuss with this. It should be easy. And for the barrel curls, I just separate small sections of hair and then roll them down and pin the very bottom of the roll to the head. But make sure the glue does not show. You wanna make sure you tuck the glue so it doesn't show and it just shows the nice pretty barrel curl. And I just did that all over until all the hair was covered and done. I traced around her body and then I took some fabric on a fold and cut that out around the paper that I traced. I wanna do a long off the shoulder gown, but as I started working on it, I realized the off the shoulder part with LaDonna's like proportions weren't gonna work. It was gonna make her look too boxy. And by the time I actually got an off the shoulder going, it would be impossible to put on her unless I wanna put like a zipper or a Velcro in there. And I just, I wasn't trying to do all that extra work, you guys. So I sewed my usual tube dress that goes all the way down to her feet. And then I tried that on the dress for a fitting and see where I had to make alterations. As I was going through it, I realized the pattern was a bit more bigger than I expected. So I just took in the sides. And then as I tried it on, I realized I needed to take some in on the midsection as well. So what I did is where the bust is after I gathered the bust, I did a dart from the very tip of the bottom of the bust all the way down to her stomach. So it created a curved dart so that it curves inward and is more form fitting to her body. And since I'm gonna cover half this dress up, if there's some extra seams there, it's not gonna matter. In total, I did two darts. There's a circular dart in the front and a straight dart in the back of her dress so that it curves downward onto her spine. Now the Ursula Van Ross character I created when I used to draw my Misty comic in high school, she is the rival of Misty and she is the most evil woman alive. She would always make Misty feel like absolute garbage, like bring up her designers and how cheap her dresses were. I used to have so much fun creating like dynasty level like comebacks between both of the girls. They just sling mud at each other. Both women were gold diggers, but Ursula was way more successful at it than Misty, and she threw it in her face every opportunity she got. But she was like very subtle about her shade, where she would compliment her, but take it away, and then say something really, really insulting about her. Oh, I used to have so much fun drawing stuff for Ursula. Because you may notice Ursula's dress is way more fly than Misty's. That's always how it was when I drew the comic books, too. Like, Misty was outrageous, but Ursula was outrageous as well, but hers were way, way, way more fly because she had more money and could afford better designers. Now for the garnishing of her gown, I found this green teddy bear from a state fair and I took it and gutted it and completely tore it apart. And I honestly just tore this poor bear apart. It was pretty bad. I took it apart and I made strips of fur that I could turn into a big stole that would wrap around her body. It's sort of inspired by a RuPaul silhouette I had seen on one of her gowns on Drag Race. I'm obsessed with how campy and fun this looks, so I just recreated it with neon green fur to go with this key lime dress. And as a finishing touch, I took some scrap fabric from the key lime and from the fur and just made a little miniature bowl that I'm gonna glue to the very top of her turban just to add a bit more flair and also cover up any messiness in the knot. And she is done. Take a look at her. Ursula Van Ross has arrived. Jane's Mansell repainted a LaDonna doll available at Kid Robot. However, after she was done recording, she forgot to do a Ven moment. Before we get into the tea, a quick disclaimer. Please don't send any hate to Pearl, LaDonna, Kid Robot, James Mansfield, Venmo, or anyone else involved with this controversy. So what's the big f***ing issue? When James Mansell forgets to do her Ven moment, she neglects her fans. James obviously hates her fans and doesn't do a Ven moment on purpose. But thankfully, us here at Squirt love and care about you. So here we go with the forgotten Ven moment. <sighs> James should have thanked James, Sarah, Jamie, Michael, Spencer, Megan, Sabrina, Angel, Ike, Ike again, Ike another time, Trevor, Angel, Ryan, and Amadeus. Does James Mansell not care about her fans? Sound off down below. Will you knock that off, honestly? Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I love her. This is Ursula Van Ross, the rival of Misty Malone. Oh my gosh, I used to love this character when I was drawing her in high school. She was such a 
much. And she always throw it in Misty's face how much richer she was and more successful she was. Oh, I loved, love, love writing dialogue for her. Now, as far as the doll goes, I had a lot of fun with this. I took an old teddy bear that Ernie won from a carnival. And I sliced it up and diced it and made, you know, a nice fur stole that wraps around her body, almost through polish. And I also did a little decorative bow. And I have to say the concept drawing, it varies wildly from the final result, but that often does with my stuff. It's usually like a guideline. And then I see what's actually physically capable when I start working with the materials I have. This is my first time ever making a wig for a doll. And I think I did a pretty good job. I masked my shortcomings with a turban and it comes on and off like a helmet now. But as far as making the yarn wig goes, it was such a journey. And I bet you're wondering, James, how much hair did you pull out of this wig in order to make it? The answer is this much. <laughs> <Ugh. Ooh. laughs> the explosion from that one. My God. But no, this is Ursula Van Ross. Brought to you by Vladana, brought to you by Kid Robot. I am so happy to finally have her in my collection. And I didn't end up taking the hair off because I actually ordered a black haired Vladana doll. I found one on eBay. So I'm gonna cannibalize this one into a Misty character probably and take the blonde hair out and then put this outfit and repaint that black haired one as Ursula. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these Vladana dolls. I wanna buy all of them and just make a whole bunch of these now. Decorate my vanity with them. Now, this is her and her wig is just missing one more thing. The Jade Vansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give her a spritz. Really soak it up. All that fur can get it. Ah, now her wig smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. But thankfully with my code Mansfield20, you can get 20% off your purchase, including free shipping from manscaped.com. And if you love a style wig by moi, be sure and check out my wigs available at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. Ooh, ah, so beautiful. Let's let the ladies meet. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, it's like a dynasty cat fight. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, they're making out. What's going on here? <laughs> I love dolls. If you guys enjoy this, let me know down below. I have a few more Vladonna dolls coming by that I was just gonna paint on my own time. But if you wanna see me paint them on this channel, let me know, I'll paint them here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye! Click here and watch my first LaDonna transformation. Or see me transform a Disney Ariel Halloween costume wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll shave Tom Holland's head again after he grows his hair out. So click it!